Good morning. Today we'll be doing the liturgy of the hours morning prayer for January 29th. Today is the Monday of the fourth week of ordinary time. Let's have our moment of silence to prepare us for our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord needs haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. I sing the mighty power of God that made the mountains rise, that spread the flowing seas abroad, and built the I sing the wisdom that morning, the sun to rule the day. The moon shines full at his command, and all the stars obey. I sing the goodness of the Lord that filled the earth with food. He formed the with his work and then pronounce them good. Lord, all thy wonders are displayed wherever turn my eye. If I survey the ground I tread or gaze upon the sky. It's morning, Lord. You fill us with your kindness. O oh Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. Before the mountains were born, or the earth, or the world brought forth, you are God without beginning or end. You turn man back to dust and say, Go back, sons of men, to your eyes a thousand years are like yesterday come and gone, no more than a watch in the night. You sweep men away like a dream, like grass which springs up in the morning. In the morning it springs up and flowers, by evening it withers and fades. So we are destroyed in your anger, struck with terror in your fury. Our guilt lies open before you our secrets in the light of your face. All our days pass away in your anger. Our life is over like a sigh. Our span is seventy years, or eighty for those who are strong. And most of these are emptiness and pain. They pass swiftly and we are gone. Who understands the power of your anger and fears the strength of your fury? Make us know the shortness of our life, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Lord, repent. Is your anger forever? Show pity to your servants. In the morning, fill us with your love. We shall exalt and rejoice all our days. Give us joy to balance our affliction for the years when we know misfortune. Show forth your word to your servants. Let your glory shine on their children. Let the favor of the Lord be upon us. Give success to the word of our hands. Give success to the word of our hands. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Each morning, Lord, you fill us with your kindness. From the farthest bounds of earth, may God be praised. Sing, Sing to the Lord a new song, his praise from the end of the earth. Let the sea and in what fills it resound the coastlands, and those who dwell in them. Let the steep and its cities cry out, the villages 
where Kedar dwells. Let the inhabitants of Sela exult and shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory to the Lord and utter his praise in the coastlands. The Lord goes forth like a hero. Like a warrior, he stirs up his ardor. He shouts out his battle cry. Against his enemies, he shows his might. I have looked away and kept silence. I have said nothing, holding, holding myself in. But now I cry out as a woman in labor, gasping and panting. I will lay waste mountains and hills. At their herbage, I will dry up. I will turn the rivers into marshes, and at the marshes I will dry up. I will lead the blind on their journey. By paths unknown, I will guide them. I will turn darkness into light before them, and make crooked ways straight. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. From the farthest bounds of earth, may God be praised. You who stand in his sanctuary, praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise him, servants of the Lord, who stands in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing a psalm to his name, for he is loving. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself, and Israel for his own possession. For I know the Lord is great, that our Lord is high above all gods. The Lord does whatever he wills, in heaven, on earth, in the seas. He summons clouds from the ends of the earth, makes lightning produce the rain. From his treasuries he sends forth the wind. The firstborn of the Egyptians he smote, of man and beast alike. Signs and wonders he worked in the midst of your hand, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants. Nations in their greatness he struck, and kings in their splendor he slew. Sihon, king of the Amorites, of the king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan. He let Israel inherit their land. On his people, their land, he bestowed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You stand in his sanctuary. Praise the name of the Lord. A reading from the book of Judith. We should be grateful to the Lord our God for putting us to the test as he did our forefathers. Recall how he deal with Abraham and how he tried Isaac and all that happened to Jacob in Syrian Mesopotamia while he was tending the flocks of Laban his mother's brother. Not for vengeance did the Lord put them in the crucible to try their hearts, nor has he done so with us. It is by way of admonition that he chastises those who are close to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good morning, brothers and sisters. All of us, we have experienced one moment or another at difficult times, either uh, by health, you have done, gotten a little bit, you know, problems here and there, or physical problems too, or problems with families, 
and so on and so on. Uh, the readings today remind us that the Lord put us, he says, into a test to see where we are, where our hearts are, if we are within or not. He exposes us to discern basically where we are in order to be getting closer to the plan of God, getting closer to what he's, he wants us to be and where he wants us to go. It's important, it's, it's very important, brothers and sisters, to allow our heart to be open, to allow the Lord to work within us and guide us to the right path, the path that is going to get us to salvation. We heard today on the gospel of that man that he was possessed by a, a legion, he says. And what did he do when he saw Jesus at the distance? He rushed to him and he prostrated himself to him and asked him, what have you to do with me, Jesus, son of the Most High? And as we heard from the gospel, the event where the Lord pretty much uh, as the spirits, because there were several spirits, a legion is, as we know, many, to live out of the body of the poor man for him to become safe, clean and safe. The same thing we need to allow the door, the Lord, that we need to open our hearts and allow him to remove any impurity, to remove anything that is in there that is causing us also being apart. So brothers and sisters, as we continue these readings this morning, let's ask the Lord for wisdom that he can guide us where we need to be, not where we would like to go, in order for us to bring the good news to the needed people and to bring hope for all our brothers and sisters. Have a great day and God bless everyone. Sing for joy, God's chosen ones. Give him the praise that is due. Sing for joy, God's chosen ones. Give him the praise that is due. Sing a new song to the Lord. Give him the praise that is due. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Sing for joy, God's chosen ones. Give him the praise that is due. Blessed be the Lord, for he has come to his people and set them free. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation 
by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadows of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Blessed be the Lord, for he has come to his people and set them free. Because Christ hears and saves those who hope in him, let us pray. We praise you, Lord, and we hope in you. We thank you because you are rich in mercy and for the abundant love with which you have loved us. With the Father, you are always at work in the world. Make all things new through the power of your Holy Spirit. Open our eyes and the eyes of our brothers to see your wonders in this day. You call us today to your service. Make us steward of your many gifts. Let us pause for a moment to lift up our prayers and petitions to our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear Lord Jesus, we lift up to you our prayers and our petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of each and every one who are praying with us this morning. We ask, dear Jesus, that you hear and answer each and every prayer as we pray. We praise you, Lord. We hope in you. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, we now pray the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. God our Creator, you gave us the earth to cultivate and the sun to serve our needs. Help us to spend this day for your glory and our neighbor's good. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time, same place, same channel. Have a great day.